the first episode of Inventing Anna is so calm and that makes it so chilling. I have only seen the first episode of this new Netflix drama so I'm only talking about the first episode and I will share towards the end whether or not I plan on continuing to watch it. I was aware of this story before I, I heard of this drama. It, it talks about um, Anna Sorokin who became Anna Delvey um, and she basically allegedly pretended to be the elite, pretended to be this wealthy heiress to get in with the high society of New York and basically commit fraud uh, worth millions and millions of dollars. I am not 100% knowledgeable of the intricacies of it, but there are certainly a lot of things about this that are really fascinating. But the most interesting thing is the character of Anna herself, both in terms of this drama and also the actual um, crime itself in the actual story. What um, is worth saying before I discuss any further is that at the beginning of this there is a message that says this is um, a completely true story apart from the bits that are completely made up. And I thought that that message doesn't help anybody at all. Um, and it's not like it was an official get out clause to stop them from being sued. It felt really gimmicky and kind of, you know, disrespectful in a way. Because um, this is a really serious subject that affected a lot of people. So I'm not entirely sure why they thought that was a good idea. But once we got past the first two seconds of the episode, I started to really enjoy this. It's told primarily from the, from the perspective, hmm, I'll try that sentence again, from the perspective of Vivian Kent, who I actually hadn't heard of, but she is the journalist who started to have regular meetings um, in the prison with Anna to try and tell her story and get her career back on track. There's quite a bit about um, Vivian's personal life in this, in this first episode that I wasn't that interested in but I expect it's going to become pretty important as the episodes progress with regards to how determined she is with trying to tell Anna's story and maybe just what length she will go to in order to do that. So in isolation as part of the first episode I feel like we found out too much about Vivian and not enough about Anna but I can predict why that would happen and it's not something I have a massive issue with. The majority of this episode is set um, in the prison. Uh, Vivian is talking to Anna. It's completely off of the record. Um, it's all background and those are chilling scenes. Anna is played by Julia Garner and her performance is ridiculous. It's brilliant. It is chilling. The way she just sits there and kind of half smirks at Vivian and answers her questions with questions or sometimes just when, when she's asked a question she will just say something completely unrelated but you know she's been listening and it's like she's trying to come up with a calculated response that will steer the conversation away and there are a lot of articles online kind of addressing her mental health there are some people who call her sociopaths um there are a lot of different the real um anna of course um kind of looking into her mind and um kind of trying to um psychoanalyze her which is something i'm deeply passionate about uh, in general i love um psychology um criminal psychology um and forensic psychology is something that i'm deeply passionate about so that angle i thought was really interesting with the real story and I'm glad that this personality or these different sides of Anna are all being made pretty clear straight away. There's a photo wall at one point where we have all of these pictures of Anna. I believe they're genuine pictures of Anna Delvey as well from her Instagram in different um, locations of high society, looking different, dressing different. And to be honest, the episode kind of made a big deal out of that. But they were taken over five years and people do change their personalities depending on who they're around. So I don't think the episode really addressed that very well or made it clear why that was going to be a bit of a problem or why that was curious or peculiar. But maybe we'll address that in future episodes. I do think that this is a really good introduction because it definitely says this is Anna Delvey, even though nobody really knows who she is. Was she innocent or is her entire life a complete fabrication in order to swindle her way into the millions of dollars of high society in New York? 
and be among the elite. And honestly, what's the most fascinating about this is I don't know which direction this series is going to take. I don't know because because it's I, I don't want to spoil it too much in case you're not actually aware of the case and the outcome. Anna Dalvey has quite recently, I think six months ago, been released from prison. And she was arrested in 2017, so I'm not sure I'm not sure what the the average sentence is for fraud in America. Is five years and probably less than five years average? Or is it, um, I don't know, is that a short sentence? Is it because there's not enough evidence? Was she released on good behaviour? There are a lot of questions. And I'm really keen to see how far this episode, this series, takes that. And what angle they take. Are they going to be completely unbiased? Will they be completely balanced? How factually accurate is it? So far, it feels kind of accurate from what I've researched. But at the same time, not a lot happens. It is more about getting to know Anna's personality and laying the groundwork for the kind of individual we will be meeting across nine episodes. This episode is directed by David Frankel and written by Shonda Rhimes and um, Vivian is played by Anna Chlumsky. But I have to say Julia Gardner completely steals this. Her performance is an absolute episode stealer. Her portrayal of Anna is exactly what I would have expected and she's absolutely brilliant. If she doesn't win awards for her performance here, there are problems. Um, the show itself, so far, is good, but her performance is amazing. Will I keep watching it? I think I'm going to do a bit more digging to see... I'm trying to find some spoiler-free reviews of the full series. Because if it turns out that halfway through they just go off on one and start making things up, like it kind of suggested at the beginning, and it's just completely inspired by, rather than a drama heavily based on, then I might not continue watching it. Feel free to let me know the answer to that question, if you have seen it all. Does it start to make things up quite a lot? Or does it stay close to the truth? Because I don't want it to be made up. I don't want to have the facts that are already in my mind to be warped by things where they're taking extensive creative license. If you have any, any opinions on this first episode, the series as a whole, Anna Delvey, the case, you know, the sentencing, anything like that, I'd love um, to hear your thoughts and know what you think about this. For me, I certainly found this first episode to be quite um, appealing, quite interesting. Julia Gardner was absolutely amazing. It's made me want to go and read more about Anna Dalvey um, or Sorokin, which I absolutely will be doing. So if nothing else, I think it's spreading her name so far, not in a good way. This episode, the episode doesn't make her look bad. It's still giving her that sense of, well, maybe she's innocent. I don't know how that's going to carry on. Will it make her look bad as the episodes progress? Will it, will it be open? But will we get to the end of the show and think, well, actually, I still can't work out who to believe? Um, I don't know. And I think that that's going to be interesting. Um, spoiler free, is it worth watching? Is it worth carrying on with? Let me know your thoughts, but certainly this first episode has been an interesting one.